in this lesson we will cover the testing of the three level approval process so when an item is created it initializes three variables gets the item of all approvals and assigns them to each variable variable one approver one approver two approver three then start and wait for approval 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 step one then we check the condition if it is no we update the item as rejected if it is yes if it is yes we start another start and wait for approval process so let's test it new item one in the car save <coughs> let's remove all of the previous ones If the second step is no, it marked the rejected. If second step is approved is yes, then go to the third approval. And condition, if it is approved, then we update the item as approved, finally, or mark it as rejected. So we got the first email. Let's approve it, so it should go to next level. So it went to approve level 2, <coughs> let's approve it. It went to level 3, we approve it, so only at the end, <coughs> only at the end of all the three steps, it must mask, mark this as approved, very nice. Now. We start another one. All three approved. Delete. First level came. In first level itself, let's mark it as reject. <coughs> rejected. Very nice. Uh, it's not nice that it got rejected, but it got rejected. So the workflow is working. So that's nice. <laughs> Three and let's reject and at a third step
Power Automate has been slow since last two days. Very nice. So the first email came. We will approve and at the first stage. So the approval request two will come in. <coughs> two. Last. Let's reject as step two. So two emails will come. Let's reject Jim at third step. Let's reject Jim at first step itself. Approval step one, reject. Submit. So we have tested it. So you can test it further. Thanks.